Well, summer is officially upon us. And with that, we have to look forward to two very important holidays. Holidays in which we get together with our family and our friends and we celebrate Memorial Day in which we commemorate all of those who have lost their lives in the battle for freedom, our freedom as a country, as well as 4th of July in which we celebrate the independence of our country. And so today on my channel, I am going to show you how to create an elegant yet very patriotic centerpiece that will help you to set the tone for any family get together that you will have this holiday season as well as a tablescape that I have put together using some of my past crafts and some very patriotic items that I found at the Dollar Tree. Stay tuned! For this project, you will need two bottles of floral gel beads. You will need your bling wrap in the colors of red, white, and blue. Two pinwheels. You will need this trumpeted vase and this shorter vase, both found at the Dollar Tree. You will also need a pack of these submersible tea light candles, as well as a cube styrofoam, your assortment of red, white, and blue flowers, your flower embellishments and your acrylic bead garland of course you will need your handy dandy tools so let's get crafting so the first thing we're going to have to do for this project is create our pendulum in our first vase that we're going to use as our base and simple all we're going to do for this is place some E6000 glue on the first bead. I counted a measure of five beads, not counting the chains in between, so five beads. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my E6000 glue on that first bead, so which means four of them will be hanging. And now I'm gonna follow up with my hot glue gun, and I am going to just eyeball it, find the center of that vase in the bottom and I'm gonna place that one bead ever so gently down there trying very hard to make sure that I'm not getting any glue on the other beads. Once I have done that, I am going to set this aside to dry. Now what we're going to do with this second vase is we are going to embellish it by dressing it up with some bling wrap and some flower embellishments. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to decorate around the brim of this vase with our flower embellishments. And what I'm doing here is I am going in six at a time. Um, putting my hot glue on to that just making sure with using six at a time It's not going to warp. It's not going to get too stiff My hot glue will still be hot while I'm laying this down and so I am going to place this on the lid or the lip of this phase going all the way around to create one full circle and then I'm going to go in with another layer underneath so that we're going to have two layers of these flower embellishments on this phase. Now that we have our two layers of our flower embellishment we are continue we are going to excuse me continue to wrap this vase now we are going to go around with our red white and blue bling wrap and create three rows right under those first two rows of white flower embellishments and very simple I'm just gonna go in with my e6000 glue now what I've learned when I made the prototype what I was doing with the prototype was I was trying to get glue on all three layers going up and down um, on that bling wrap but then I realized that I was wasting the glue because the bling wrap is hollow and so what was happening the glue was falling just right through and I was getting more of it on my table <laughs> rather than on the vase where I needed it to be so what I opted to do was just put one line of glue going down the middle of the bling wrap and that would give me hold enough 
to have this bling wrap placed on the vase and so I'm going to continue laying my bling wrap and if you notice I'm working kind of back on my table because like I said that bling wrap being hollow and that glue squeezing out on the bottom I really don't want to get too much of that glue on my black mat so I'm working on the table itself which would be easier to clean so I'm just gonna continue this process and you will be able to see what I do as I go Alright, so here we have what we have done so far. Now the last thing we're going to do to get this vase ready for the party is we are going to top off all of our work or bottom off, if you will, all of our work with a string of or a row of bling wrap down at the bottom of that vase. And what that is going to do is just give that vase a finished and professional look ensuring that everything is symmetrical and consistent. So using the same process as I did before, placing the glue straight down the middle and knowing that I will get a sufficient hold, not needing too much glue at this point. Now what I realized here is I had one strand of bling wrap too much. So I'm just going in with my scissors cutting that off and once I cut that off I will be able to smooth that bling wrap out and get a nice tight fit around that vase. Now that that is finished we're going to go back for the first vase that we started working with that has our pendulum in it you see it hanging there and now to keep the consistency from the one vase to the next I am going to continue with my floral embellishments using the same process as I did for the trumpet vase, I'm gonna put down six flowers at a time going around the perimeter of the bottom, what would be the top of the vase, but is now the bottom for us because we're turning it upside down. And I'm gonna continue this process until I get all the way around and I will come back so you can see what that looks like. Now here we have our first little vase that we started working with and our tall trumpet vase. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to join these two vases together to make it look like one cohesive unit from top to bottom. And to do that, simple fix, we're gonna go in with our E6000 glue and then we're gonna follow up with our hot glue gun using pellets at a time I'm letting gravity do its job and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my hot glue gun just going around in a circle in alternating empty spots and putting down hot, that hot glue and once I have set my foundation of adhesive then I'm gonna make sure that I place my tall vase on top of my short vase and I will secure it in place now I'm standing because I want to make sure that I have found that center because we know glass and e6000 plus hot glue gun bonds very quickly and so now that I have placed that glass where I need it to be I'm just gonna press down to make sure I have a nice tight seal and now we have our vase all right, so here is our unit. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to start to lay our flowers. Now what I started with was this cube from the Dollar Tree, of course, but because of the shape of that vase, I needed to go in and score it and cut it out to make sure that that styrofoam could sit completely and properly in that vase. And so this is why we have all of that embellishment and bling wrap at the top of the vase so no one will be able to see what's going on underneath there. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to start setting our flowers and this is easy. I am going to have three layers of flowers here. Um, the bottom, 
the middle, and of course the top, and I'm going to follow the pattern of red, white, and blue. Now here we have our finished bouquet on top and what we're going to do now is set this off with our windmills and all I'm doing here is trying to find a part of the styrofoam that's not covered by flowers or leaves and I'm sticking this in one on the right um, on a diagonal kind of facing outward and the other one on the left on that same diagonal so that what we have is a cohesive unit and here you have what it looks like and that top of course can pop on and pop off and now finally what we have to do is we have to take our floral gel beads and our submersible tea lights to finish our project so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pour half of the bottle the first bottle into the vase and then I'm gonna take one of my tea lights turn it on just sit it right on top of those gel beads pour in the other half of the bottle take my second bottle pour in half of those gel beads again so it comes like there's gonna be a entire bottle in between the first tea light and the second tea light I'm gonna turn on my second tea light which seems to be giving me some issues but I'm gonna get it and once that's on I'm going to set it on top of those beads and then I'm gonna pour in the rest of those gel beads and once I have done that I am going to put my bouquet right back on top and I know that I'm a little bit out of frame here but I will place this on the table and show you what that looks like along with our tablescape well there you have it ladies and gentlemen our elegant yet patriotic centerpiece that is sure to catch the attention of all of the guests you will have over for these two very important and commemorative holiday dinners. Now, as you can see, I'm showing you what the tablescape looked like. We have a red, white, and blue dinner plate, charger, dinner plate, and bowl. We have a red, white, and blue napkin holder with our napkins that are standing at attention. We have our red tea light stars that are helping to set the tone of the table, as well as some cardboard bowls that have of course the American flag on it. I have those sitting on a craft that I created a few months ago and if you're interested I will be sure to leave that link in the description box below so that you will be able to go and see how that was made. We also have some wine glasses from the Dollar Tree as well as a covered mason jar that comes complete with its own striped straw. Listen, my beloved, my Danny's darlings, as always and as usual, it has been a pleasure working with you guys. I would like to hear from you. How would you have set up this tablescape any differently if you would have? And how do you intend to use this centerpiece or do you plan to create this centerpiece to top off your table for these two momentous holidays that are coming up? Please let me know. I'd like to hear from you in the comment section below. Also, if you are not a part of our community and you just happen to swing by today, we would like to ask you humbly to consider joining our community to become a part of Danny's Darlings. We would love to have you. And for my Danny's Darlings and all of those of you who are watching, again, it has been a pleasure working with you today. And I just want to say to you, in the meantime, between time, please stay safe, please be well, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon.